Hey toy fans, Aaron here, and today we are going to talk about the carbon freezer, carbon, carbon freezing chamber playset. This was released in 2001 as a fan club exclusive, so let's head to that table and check it out. So first up here we have a look at the packaging. You have that Power of the Jedi logo here, a little dream setup of all the figures you could put on the playset, and down here it does note that it includes a Bespin security guard as pictured here along with the little carbon freeze uh, block that you could fit the person in. The artwork on the sides of the box are all the same around. And on the back side, you just get a little more detail about what's included in the box, along with a little write-up about what's going on here. Looking at this out of the box, it's not a bad playset. You have your upper level here where you can lower a figure into the carbon freeze area. Some stairs meant to replicate, you know, your Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker battle scene. And then along the midsection and sides there, you have a fair amount of detailing in the paneling, and of course you can see through here when you lower your figure in, you'll be able to watch that impression happen in the block. And then further down along the base, of course, much more detailing, all those little pipes and stuff painted in silver there. My only complaints about this set actually would be the size. I wish that it was bigger, because once you start loading figures on top of this, you run out of room real fast. And also, my other complaint would be just in these blue panelings here, I would have liked to have seen something, maybe a st whether it was a sticker that you apply or just some detailing to show me that there's something on the screen other than them just being painted blue. But having a bigger top area would have been my more important uh, wish on this. This was a fan club exclusive, and the price for this was $24.99. I feel like not a bad price now. I guess I can't remember how I felt back when it came out in 2001. But by today's standards, it certainly seems like a good price, and you did get the included action figure as well. Looking at some of the playability features of this set, you do have an overgrown Stormtrooper blaster here at the top of the stairs. It does have a little spring-loaded projectile that you can shoot out. Looking on the other side of the top area here, you got this panel here. And pulling on this tab would allow it to flip up. It does reveal some more detailing in here. But the idea behind it is you're recreating a battle scene. He gets hit by a blaster, panel explodes, and away he goes. Another play feature you have going on for this is the uh, prisoner detention cell here. Door opens up on the side. Really need two hands for that. And you can slide your figure in and lock them up. And now moving on to why you want this playset in the first place. It's the carbon freeze action of this. In the center of this playset, you do have a little uh, foot stand where you slide your action figure in. This piece is removable. Makes it much easier to slide the feet in of your action figure. That slides in here like so. Lowering this lever here on the side allows you to bring your character down. Moving the lever on the other side closes the door of that chamber. And now that your figure is firmly sealed in that carbonite chamber, you just reach in and pull it out. And there's your figure. You don't get any major detailing of the action figure through the screen. Little gimmicky, but not too bad. As far as this block, you get a little bit of detail in the molding through the sides here. Nothing painted though, very plain and basic. Now as for the Bestman Guard figure that's included with this set, this is not that great of a figure. Even though we're talking about one that came out in 2001, which was at this point quite a while ago, it just doesn't match up with the types of figures we received in the line at that time. The head is far too large for the body in my opinion. Uh, I don't believe any of the Bestman guards actually had this gold painted along in, in the tops of their hat there. And the styling of the body with this figure leans a little more to what we received in 95-96 uh, with those action figures. In fact, I noticed the date stamp on the back of the leg says 1996, and it's even stamped Kenner, which this playset came out after they had already switched over from Kenner branding to Hasbro branding. So I did some looking at the figures that came out in 96, and here we have the Han Solo and Carbonite, or rather with Carbonite block, and this Bestman security guard was given the exact same legs and waist as what we received on the Han Solo in 1996. Just has a different paint job, blue instead of brown pants. As you can see, both stamped 1996 and Kenner. As far as the articulation goes in this figure though, you got your head that rotates side to side. Both arms go up and down at the shoulder. You got some pivoting at the waist area here. And then your legs go forward and back. That's all we got. Overall, this is a pretty good set, and one that I certainly love having in my collection. As you can see, I like loading it up with figures. I went out at the time and just got as much as I could that would fit on top and kind of fill out the scene as well. I chose to deck mine out with the Han Solo and the Carbonite block since it shows a better representation of 
what we saw in the movie as opposed to what we get though with this set. All right, so that wraps up this look at the Carbon Freezing Chamber playset. What are your thoughts on it? Was this something that you got in your collection when it came out? Or are you going to go back and find it uh, find it out there at eBay or something? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.